is going on guys? It is your boy Seso here, bringing us yet another video here today. Bring us a cool little video on how to create your own Wix website. Right off the bat guys, this video is sponsored by Wix.com. However, I've had Wix myself personally paid for it, everything like that, for the past like two years. So there's nothing that really like affects my opinion. I'm not just doing this because it's a free sponsorship, nothing like that. No, it's a sponsorship that I am truly and thankful for. It's my second sponsorship on this channel actually, and it's something I actually use and I'm actually pretty excited about uh, when they actually approach me and said yo you want to sponsor up and I was like of course bro let's do this thing so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video it's pretty much gonna run by you guys all the features of Wix.com and also how to build your website at the end with the Wix editor and stuff like that introducing you guys to the actual artificial design intelligence so it's freaking awesome hopefully you guys enjoy hopefully you guys enjoyed your uh your la last week weekend there we go uh happy holidays guys talk to you guys later enjoy all right, guys, so it actually comes down to building your own Wix site. You actually have two different build choices when it comes to Wix. So you actually can do a, a full-on, like, editing your own everything, like editing your own text, placement, everything like that. But if you have no real creative design, you can actually choose something, like, called the ADI, the Artificial Design Intelligence, where pretty much it goes through the entire process of creating a website for you guys. So as you can see, you can, you know, select sell online, get subscribers, create a blog. That means pretty much, like, all the features that you guys want to have on your site. So actually goes through and actually you know starts creating your site you'll have all those different things inside your site so of course you can also uh, go through a couple of different like uh, I guess suggested you know you know like things you know really basic things like about section or whatever where you live business address kind of things like that uh, you know social media so that that way whenever it comes down to to having something that they place in your site all that stuff is already filled out for you guys so you have to really worry about it so as you can see you're pretty much building it starts to build it and then watch okay my mouse is gonna be absolutely nowhere near the actual design uh, you know or excuse me the actual website page but everything's gonna be getting filled out itself so when you actually see there's a lot more actual uh, tastes they call it uh, meaning like you know kind of you know settings you can choose from uh, than the ones they choose so if you ever don't like if you don't like the ones they gave you you can also change those in the future um, anyway as you can see now it's just pretty much adding just it's just adding it so it's, you literally do nothing whatsoever um, you literally just wait I'm gonna wait right I'm just gonna just wait out you know wait till it finishes my home page and then really pretty much like at any moment by the way you can well, of course when the actual uh, site is actually finished building it um, you can at any moment change anything you want to change so I'm gonna show you guys in a second pretty much it changes like you, you just pretty much scroll down right you scroll down, you'd be like, you know, I kind of don't like this right here, which means like, you know, I don't really, I feel like I want to exchange this out or maybe delete it or maybe like duplicate it, move it, whatever I got to do for it. And then pretty much you can just like change the layout itself, clicking on that little simple button. And then it gives you all the different layouts and also kind of gives you a preview on the actual thumbnail of what you'll be able to like kind of see it do. And then like I said, if you don't want it, press delete and then just delete it. It's that freaking simple. So it's actually pretty cool and pretty handy actually. So, uh, yeah, you also have this cool little feature called, like, what's next, right? So when you're kind of finished, your sites have done building the actual thing, um, it gives you kind of, like, these baseline uh, things that you can change. So, of course, you have a preview of your site. Uh, that's the first one that kind of, like, gives you a preview of how everything's going to look. However, if you don't have any pictures in there uh, of your own, it will show the pictures that you also put in there on your own. However, if you don't have any pictures, it, it will just give you the baseline kind of, like, you know just the look of it right so it kind of gives you everything uh, like all the templated stuff so you can, you can still get a general idea of what the website will look like as you uh, you know progress and edit things out so you can always click on the preview button top right corner and it, it's really it's really freaking handy and if you're also wondering if they have a mobile section they do you can also choose mobile preview if you guys wish to if you if you really if you really you know trying to strive for that mobile community as well you, you'll, you'll be able to see everything on that as well and also even edit things on the mobile site itself just by changing Changing the layout on the top left when you get back on the home page so it's actually pretty freaking awesome so the what next tab right so as you can see I have a whole bunch of different things that I can change I have like change my uh, entire website design or even change my website colors which most likely you're gonna be end up doing if you guys don't like your website colors you can have it pretty much do it it's on its own like the AI will refresh and kind of like give you a new color scheme or if you press show me how you see the little thumbnails that are happening that's kind of what's gonna happen it's gonna direct you guys in the right direction so that you can actually change your colors you can change your website fonts like I said you can make it show me how right you pretty much you're clicking then if you press show me how but it gives you the direction where to change your website fonts if you need to or even like maybe change an entire selection of your actual website design just because if you don't like something you can just change it so besides like doing you know scrolling through your actual website preview why not just like you know select the actual uh, region selector it'll kind of like it's way faster and easier so I would definitely recommend that as well 
Alright guys, so if you did not know already, of course, Wix has an autosave feature, right? So if you ever want to stop working on your site, you guys can do uh, just pretty much do so. And then if you want to go back into it, just go to Wix.com, log in, and you're pretty much going to find your site on the top left. You're going to press on Edit Site, and what it'll do, it'll kind of like load your site back up right where you left it off because it's already autosaved. So if you guys did not know already, of course, to change images, all you would have to do is either click on the thumbnail of your gallery, and then you'll see that it says like Manage, right? So this is, of course, if you're on the AI Artificial Intelligence Building, and you'll be able to see all the different images that are inside Inside that gallery because it's an added selection right you can move them delete them add your own media which most likely you're gonna be doing or you can actually do something pretty cool Wix has like these little stock images so if any moment you kind of like replace or or like kind of like have a temporary image you guys could do that which is actually pretty cool um, it actually has a couple of really nice ones and also really nice specific uh, you know groups so if you guys want to do that you could do that as well and it's you know something I would recommend if you guys just want to leave things blank so pretty much when you're done with the artificial builder, all you have to do is click on the top right and click on publish and it'll ask you guys what you want your domain to be and then pretty much it'll say, you know, your username.wixsite.com slash the domain you chose. Now, if you guys actually purchase your own domain, which you guys can do at any moment in time with the same exact website, it'll say, you know, what your domain was .com, which is very clean, very simple, right? Like mine, syswixu.com. Otherwise, it would be that long, uh, you know, username wixsite.com. Uh, slash then my you know domain so be sure to purchase it down the line if you guys wish to if you guys get attention to it and then the only thing you're gonna actually have on your site is the create a site uh, create a Wix on the top right and a nice little uh, a banner on the bottom side because it's a free site right you're just using their platform and if you purchase your domain down the line it'll actually have your own uh, you know nothing nothing like right it'll just be all clean right so if you guys can see now my example that I chose here it has no images and some things but of course if you had images in there it would look like freaking clean the nice transitions and I really really do like the header and uh, really I would really highly suggest you guys to use the artificial builder if you guys are not really good at you know creating your own site and thinking of everything on your own all right, guys, now that I showed you guys how to use the artificial design intelligence, I'm going to show you guys how to use the Wix editor, which is pretty cool as well. It's more like I said, standalone, do it yourself kind of thing. So if you were just wondering to yourselves, does Wix have multiple sites creations? Can you create multiple sites in Wix? Yes, you can. So this is what we made before with the actual uh, AI. I'm going to use right here, click on a new site, create a new site, and I'm ready to go. So what kind of site would you like to create? I want a designer, right? I want to create a design one. Um, and we have here, like I said, this is the a, uh, ADI, which is the artificial intelligence. However, we're going to do start with Wix editor. So it's going to hit us up with the actual template. So which template do you guys want to use? Um, pretty much it has a lot of different categories, you know, from business, online store, design, music, anything like that to, you know, the newest ones that are out, the most popular ones that are out and then blank templates. If you're just ready to go hop into it, you have a complete vision and you want no, no type of, you know, help. So I actually want to use something like this, right? I'm gonna click on view really quickly. This is what you probably do, like click view and be like, you know, what is this site all about? How do I like this? Do I like this? Does it look good? Yada, yada, yada. And if you like it, all you gotta do is click up here and click edit this site. So I like this site. I wanted to use this template. So I'm gonna let it load up. And then pretty much right when we get into this thing, I'm of course gonna, I'm gonna fix kind of what I like, kind of things that I want, right? So the things that I want is definitely this, this. This is cool and all, but I don't actually want. I'm just gonna click on it and press delete. And things like this, like, I mean, this is cool. It has a pretty cool animation as well. I'll show you guys how to do that kind of stuff in a second. However, if I don't if I don't want it, I'm just going to hover over everything and press delete on my keyboard. Pretty simple. I don't want any of that. Press delete. Now, it's kind of a waste, I would say. I, could, I probably could have started with a blank template. However, I still liked how this looked. So I'm just going to edit this because why the heck not? Let's delete that little shape there. And then this contact page is actually pretty cool. I'm going to drag this up. By holding shift, by the way, it keeps it in the same orientation. So I'm moving it up and holding shift, and it can't go left and right. So it can only go up. It's a pretty little technique that you can use. It's kind of the same thing in Photoshop as well if you're, if you're used to Photoshop. Now, all I'm going to do is a double click on this, right? So to change text in your, your template, all you got to do is uh, double click on it or click on the actual little text pro uh, box and press edit text, right? It'll bring up this little text section. Uh, text, why well, I said section? It's definitely settings. There we go. And uh, pretty much, I'm going to type in what I need to type in. So, Sesso HQ for the header. I'm also going to go ahead and hover over it and make sure I use a nice little yellow because I'm going to change everything in a little bit. And I'm also going to double click on this and I'm going to change this my, to like professional graphics designer. Okay, we're going to make the alignment in the middle again. And then we're going to change this, lower that down a bit. And now we have a nice little subheader uh, plus a nice little header of my text, right? So now it says Sesso HQ. Um, so yeah, 
I'm going to uh, quickly like help you guys out for a second. So once you get hit in this, right, uh, all you see is background, ad, ad, mar uh, ad market, my uploads, start blogging, and like bookings. Up here is where your pages are going to be at. So if you want to make a new page, obviously click add page. If you want to get rid of pages, which I'm going to do right now is click on these little dot, dot, dots and press delete. So that's what I'm going to do for all these really quickly because I want to make my own pages. And if, like I said, if you were in a template and you wanted to keep that page, just pretty much, you know, just don't delete it, right? And then you can edit it yourself. Now, pretty much now when I press preview really quickly, it's going to be a preview of what the site will look like. And right now it's completely just blank with like the home page, the nice little heading here, and a contact info on the bottom because I wanted to keep it. So what I'm going to do now is show you guys how to make new pages, right? So new page, I'm going to create myself two new pages. One's going to be called uh, Portfolio. I want a portfolio on my site and then the next page is actually going to be called tutorials I can make it say YouTube or whatever but I'm going to make it say tutorials right because that's what I do so now if I click back on preview you can see two new pages that have been added completely separate from the home page so as you can see that's probably the most valuable thing when it comes to making new pages and the most easiest thing as well it's really freaking easy to make a new page so I want to hit you guys up and show you guys how to use uh, the animation tools. So pretty much, if I click on here, right, it has edit text. I told you guys how to edit text, but right next to it, it's called animate. So if I click on this, and it gives you these cool little animation tools, and pretty much if you just hover over them, you can see them, all the different ones. I'm a really big fan of slide in. Now I'm going to I'm gonna click on slide in, and I'm going to click customize. That way it brings me into more settings, right? So right now if I press play, it's going to slide in from left to right. I'm kind of feeling like from the bottom up, so if I click on this, it's going to come up from the bottom up and it's going to look really cool and nice. Now, besides this actually the orientation, you have duration and then delay. So pretty much duration is going to be how long do you want it to take to slide in. 1.2 seconds is currently what it is. So 1.2 seconds is the time that actually slides in. If I lower this down to like, I don't know, like 0.3 seconds, it's going to be really fast slide in. However, 1.2 is pretty smooth and I like that. Now also delay is one pretty cool as well. So if I make this delay one second you can probably like suggest what you're going to be you know you can probably understand what's going to happen if i press preview if i own my site someone goes on my site one second later is when the actual text is going to pop up so it's actually pretty freaking cool pretty handy if you get like really creative as you saw that uh saw before if i scroll down on the actual site that when i actually chose the actual uh site you saw that little uh those little little thingamajiggers what were they called like the stats it, it like kind of moved like that and that's pretty much how they did it right they just use shapes which by the way shapes should be in this right here right Cool. So what I'm going to do now is actually pretty much, I'm going to add a couple things. So I kind of want to show you guys something pretty cool, right? So if I go to add really quickly, of course, everything you see in here is text, uh, image, gallery, which is pretty much what you're going to be using for, most likely for like, you know, maybe like a homepage gallery, have a couple pictures around or even for your portfolio, uh, slideshow, buttons, you know, box, everything, miscellaneous kind of things, right? That you're probably going to be using for yourself if, if you're down for it, right? So what I'm going to be doing is I'm using images. So I'm gonna click on image. I'm gonna click my uploaded images, my my image uploads, right? If I open this up, obviously we're gonna have some things already loaded in. Now, whenever pictures, uh, whatever pictures you guys put in here is pretty much your photo library, right? So um, basically, no matter what site you're in, like this is a different site, right? But these were uploaded when I did my other, uh, you know, the artificial one. So it keeps it in your library, so you don't have to worry about even, you know, putting more images uh, in if you want to make another new site with the same exact images for whatever reason, right? So pretty much upload images, they'll be in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two things really quick. Uh, not everything, geez. Okay, boom. Add to page. Now I added two images here. And what I kind of want to do is show you guys the use of uh, kind of using images to be pretty cool. I think that's like, that looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. So, right, I have these two things already, you know, done. So with images, what you guys can do is, of course, animate them as well. So if I go to animate, I want to use slide in again. This time I'm going to have a slide in from, as you saw, left to right. I'm down from the left to right. And the duration is pretty good. And the delay can probably be, what did I have this at? I had this at what? Uh, let's check, actually. What did I have this delay on? One second. So what I'll do is I'll put this on a delay of 1.5 or 1.3, actually. 1.3. And this way, it's going to come in right after the text. I'm going to do the same thing for this one, but I'm going to change the orientation to a different direction. So slide in, customize. I can slide this in from the right-hand side. And we're going to make this delay 1.3. So let's see what happens when we go to preview, right? So if someone was on my page, they're going to be like, Oh, boom, Sesso HQ, boom, portfolio, boom, tutorials. That looks pretty freaking cool. I'm definitely down for it. Now, besides actually having just images do like really cool animations, of course, you can also link your images to certain things. So as you see, I have portfolios here 
and tutorials here. And of course I have portfolios up here for my header and tutorials here as well. So the cool thing you can do is also link your images to certain things, various things actually. Uh, you can link it to a different page like I'm gonna do right now or web addresses. Like if you wanna make someone click on a, a certain image and be like, you know, subscribe to me if you made a banner for subscribe to me and then, or even a button or anything like that, you can make, you know, just type in youtube.com slash SSOHQ or whatever your YouTube is and it'll, it'll direct it to there or email, anything like that. But I'm gonna do page. So which page? Of course, portfolios. Done. Same thing here. Gonna go to here, go to link, page, tutorials, done. So if I go back to preview, as you guys can see, we are gonna get Sesso HQ, and then it's gonna hit up with this. That looks so that looks freaking pretty. I'm down for it. And now if I click on the actual image, you can see that my uh, my little pointer turns into like an actual uh, direction. So if I click on it, boom, it brings me to portfolio. Pretty freaking cool, and I'm totally down. Now, one thing as well is, of course, this dude is not me, and I don't want this dude here anymore. So pretty easily to actually change your background is you uh, go back to editor. Um, as you can see, it's selections, right? So if I click here, this gives me the navigation selection. If I click here, these are a couple shapes. I can also just change this text right now really quickly to S because that's my, my first letter. And then if you go over here, it says the header. But if you click somewhere over here, it's going to say background, background strip, right? So you got to change your background strip. And so pretty much you can go through these things. If you guys wish to use something like this like a stock one um but if you want a solid color like i want right now all you gotta do is go to color boom and then i'm gonna use this one now if any moment you want to use something different uh like if you have a certain color you want to use all you gotta go to add color and you know the hex code just dab your x code in or dab your x code in geez put your x code uh hex code in right here press add and you're ready to go so now i have my nice little blue background totally down for it now what i also kind of want to do uh I kind of actually, I'll just leave it like that. Oh no, I definitely want to add a shape. Why the heck not? Go to shape and we'll go to this. I'm going to use this line right here. And I'll put a line right in the middle of these two things. Just like so. And I'm going to change the design. Now I'm going to make this line a different color. Customize design. I'm going to change this color right here. And I'm going to change it to this gray just because I kind of want something really cool, right? Um, just a little line. I'm going to make it animate actually. And I'm going to make the line maybe like, ooh, that was actually pretty cool. We'll do fold in. Why the heck not? So if I preview this, this comes like that. This comes up. That comes that. Bro, like, see that? Like, you, you like the you like the flow. I know you like the flow. So this looks really good so far. For my homepage, it's actually pretty cool, right? So really quickly, I'm going to show you guys a couple things as well. If you guys want to group things together, if you just click on them, you know, control click on them, it says group elements up here. So pretty much if you press that, you can see everything is not grouped. So if I click on this, it'll click on those two things that I selected. And if any moment you want to switch it out and then like, you know, ungroup it, pretty simple. Ungroup elements, very, very easy, very simple, and very, very, like, if you're doing something very hard or, or very, like, you know, kind of annoying to move, group it up together and it makes it super easy. And so really quickly as well, it has apps. Now, one of the things I like to be seeing used is the Instagram feed. If you're an Instagram user and you really like try hard on your pictures, probably having an Instagram feed on your site is pretty cool. So if I add this scene right here, uh, add this site, you can see it's a cool little app that pretty much if you were to go ahead, I got to move this down now. Let's just move that down. Now, pretty much if you were to add your own, of course, it's going to ask you to link your uh, Instagram. I'm not going to do that right now, but if you added your own Instagram, you'll be able to see pictures here, which is actually pretty cool. Now, that's for Instagram. I'm a really big fan of Twitter, so I'm pretty sure they will have a Twitter one, right? Let's see. Twitter Twitter feed right here. Cool. Add to site. Add to app. And then pretty much right away, as you can see, it'll add this uh, the actual app into our site. And pretty much to click and change it, go to settings, following no link uh enable all you gotta do is at sesso hq and then it'll change it just like so oh i didn't press oops all right there we go there we go now it's changed so as you can see i preview it now people can see my tweets if they want to if i want to have a certain page for it however it looks kind of weird and awkward so i'm not going to keep it in there i just want to show you guys and in, in, introduce you guys into the app so let me show you guys really quickly how to set up your own portfolio as well which would be pretty awesome as well so pretty much go to here portfolio now this thing is really weird right here. I don't know why it's black, but you can pretty much change it really easily by just going to change page design. And then we're just gonna make it say no color. So it's just completely black or not black, uh, blank. So now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to add. So if you're a portfolio user like me and you want a portfolio to use, definitely one of the cooler things you can use is go to gallery. Now you can use one of these. However, if you go down, Wix Pro Gallery is actually really freaking cool. If I click on this and I'm just gonna go add, uh, we're gonna add again. Why the heck not? 
And as you can see, this gallery is whoa, like it's so much better and it looks a lot cooler. And I believe you guys will really like it if you guys are using this for a portfolio. If I go to manage media, it of course bring me to the images. Really quickly though, I want to show you guys. Uh, if I go to layout, you can actually change a lot of things. So spacing, if I want to have no spacing, everything everything be really seamless, which I'm a big fan of, you can do that. If you want your thumbnails to be bigger, you can definitely do that. If you want your thumbnails to be smaller, I would probably suggest that. I think 18, 20 is a pretty good, pretty good size. I'm actually down for like 15 maybe. I don't know what it had as before, but it was actually really good as well. I think I'm down for 20. Let's go for 20. Definitely 20. So you can change a lot of things, right? Collage, you can make it a grid. So it's like this column and then like i just want to show you guys this because this is a lot better in my opinion than using uh, one of the gallery ones and not just using pro pro is like 10 times better and way easier settings and such right so you can actually make it that you can download images if you're someone like a photographer and you want to have people like be able to download your images click on here your visitors not be able to download your stuff so pretty cool and it's very handy so uh, I can actually click on, like I said, manage media to actually change everything out. So these images that are on here right now are pre-default. So all I got to do is click over here and it says remove from gallery. I'm going to do that right now. Oop. Uh, I'm just going to move them all. Can I just like do this? Nope. I can't do that. Uh, let's just remove them all. Just like so. Cool. Now I'm going to go to add media, add my images, and I'm going to add my stuff that I have in here. Apply. Done. And just like that, right away, as you can see, it's pretty freaking cool. Now, like I said, like you can also change it to grid and whatever. But this, for me, I'm just going to leave it like this. Just see, I want to show you guys that this is how it would look. And it looks pretty freaking awesome. So, of course, I have tutorials here, right? I'm going to throw in my tutorial page really quickly. Make sure I change this to a uh, nice little uh, see-through. And pretty much, you can also add videos, right? So that's the last thing I want to talk about uh, really quickly. You can also use slideshows, buttons. What You can also probably use just video it's probably like a certain thing like yeah you can do something like this a video strip would be pretty cool but for me i just want to add a single youtube video just to show you guys right so i'm gonna add this double click on it and then pretty much go to my settings here pretty much anything you want to change will most likely be in the settings it's very very easy that's the thing about wix it's very easy to change things understand things and it, you really can't get lost so i'm gonna quickly take a video out of youtube and pretty much as you can see this is the link i'm gonna click on it Control v i'm copying and pasting my new link updating it and now i have a video in here pretty cool now i can also still uh if i want to change a layout or something let's see what that does it just shows it hides it light dark oh that's pretty neat i guess um like i said change video change the design what's this one do you can have frames on it oh look at that oh that looks really nice actually you see that that's actually really cool so if i press preview now if i click on it you'll see a nice little video starting up for us and it's, it's really freaking handy. So if you have videos, you want to put videos on it. If you're on, if they're on YouTube, just upload it. Why the heck not? So I'm definitely a fan of what the heck's going on over here. I'm definitely a fan of the homepage, by the way. It looks pretty cool. And it really, honestly, Wix is one of the best. Like, I, I'm not just saying it. I know it's a sponsored video. However, I've been using Wix for two years now to actually create my own site, sysohq.com, which I'm actually revamping right now. And probably this is why you can see that I have these two things here. These were not for the video. I just had these handy because, you know, I was doing a new, you know, a site. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I really, really do hope you guys choose Wix to actually create your website. There's a lot of control you can do. I like the simplistic stuff. I love being just like, you no know, super simple. And I, this for me is like really cool, right? So like I said, you can change backgrounds. You can change your header. You can also make your header do something pretty cool. If I want to make it animate as well, I can make that fly in or slide in as well. Why the heck not, right? So if I go to preview, if I go on the site, Boom, that flies in, this comes up, this comes down. It's it's very catchy, it's very awesome, and I really advise you guys to check out Wix.com, make your own page, make your own site, and then just, just like freaking go for it, right? So like I said, uh, you can use blank pages, you can use blank templates, uh, you can use your own template that you find, you know, that you find in the beginning. It's it's very awesome, it's very inviting, it's not hard whatsoever. And if you guys are looking for a portfolio site, like I said in my old uh, or last week's video, my top three digital portfolio sites, Wix has to be the best one. I wasn't just saying that, that's my honest opinion, because who does not want their own site, right? Their own portfolio on their own site. So you can also make shops, by the way, that's actually pretty cool. So if I really, I, I can look how fast I can make a shop, see? Page. Let's make it say shop. That's not the word shop. Let's, oh God, rename it. This is the word shop, right? All right, watch how easy this is. So pretty much I'm gonna click here, make this invisible. I'm gonna click on, let's see, add 
uh, let's see, uh, store, add to site, and just like that, I have a shop in my store or my site. That's pretty freaking awesome. Now, also, let me see something really quick. I think I saw something. Uh, delete. Oh, okay, whatever. Anyway, so this is you know the cool thing. So I can manage my products. Means I can take my pictures out. I can you know rename them. Yada yada yada. But I don't have thumbnails for my actual uh for my actual you know products. So I don't have that. But look how easy it was to actually make a very quick shop inside your shop. So that's pretty awesome. Look at the little cart there too. So. I want to let you guys go right now. I want you guys to explore. I want you guys to have fun with Wix.com. I know I like this. This is probably my second time ending the video. However, I just want to show you guys stuff. And like, there's a lot more I can show you. However, it's more fun for you guys to really engage yourself. Get yourself in this. Take your time on it. And at any moment you guys want to leave the site, you guys could. Press save. Rename. Like, I'm going to make this site called. I'm going to edit this. I'm going to, want, I'm going to call it tutorial site. At any moment, press done. So if I were to quickly just get out of here. And I'm just going to oh, stay for a second. Make sure it's saved. Boom. My settings were saved. If I get out and I pretty much reload my site over here. Boom. It should be right here. Tutorial site. Select my site. Manage my site. Edit my site. And I get right back to where I left off. So it's freaking awesome. So like I said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video here today. Don't forget to leave a like. All that cool stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your 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 weekend. Your freaking happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And I'll talk to you guys later. So that's what HQ out. Peace. Keep smiling. Stay productive. Stay positive. Later. Oh, but Sessie just ended the video, bro. Yo, give me a second. If you guys do not know about light boxes really quickly, they're actually pretty important. Don't know how the freak I forgot about it. However, if you guys do not know about light boxes really quickly, if you ever see those things pop on your site, or if you go to a site, you be like, yo, it pops up, you're like, yo, bro, there's a sale going on. Do you want to join it? And you go like, yes, and you type in your email or something like that, or you go like, no, and you want to exit it out, and it never pops up again. That is what this is. So pretty much, if I click on one of these things, I can I can change the design if I want to. If I click over here and like I want to change the background and whatnot, I can do that. However, I don't really care. But I wanted to show you guys that this is what those things are. So if I really quickly uh, go to, oops, go to preview. Boom, when I get on my site, the first thing I see is this thing. I'm like, yo, I don't want that. I'm going to exit out. And then there we go. Now I never sees it again. I needed to show you guys that because that is clutch. And it's a very easy way to get, you know, all people to get attention to something right away. So I hope you guys, you know, don't mind me telling you that what it was. Maybe you didn't know about it, but now I got you. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Sensei HQ out. Peace.